time is lost on this place, but it evokes a tingling sensation. There's something special about it, drawing you closer. Let's see. As time passes, memories fade, and sometimes feelings change. It's not about who you were, it's about who you'll become. This story is far from over. Echoes of a long lost past, like whispers in the wind. Here's someone who takes each day as it comes. He asks how you are today. Then he wants you to know that if you find yourself going through bad times, you should just keep going. He wonders where you've been. He hopes you've been out at the lake, practicing your swimming technique. Learning to swim can be scary when you don't know what you're doing. But fortunately, he's here to give you a helping hand. He thinks you should really know how to swim by now. And he'll be honored. He says, that wasn't too bad, was it? He says a feeling that you're going to drown is a great reminder of the need to learn how to swim. But you need practice, lots of practice. You need to rely on those who somehow know how to teach. Those willing to bend down and help you pick up your boots. You just need more time in the surf. That's the only way you'll ever learn how to swim. He knows that's not true. You've just made up your mind you're not. Judging by your Mooma's look, it seems you forgot something. You promised you'd train with her before the sun goes down. It's time to go. You know you can't make up for lost time. You should know. Practice makes perfect. She says nobody is perfect. That's why you practice. She'll see you at the village square. She understands, but sometimes you need to do what you have to and not what you want to. Here's another familiar face with lots on his mind. Asks how you're feeling today. His only interest when creating is that what he comes up with is actually useful. He was hoping you could help him pick up some scrap for a thingamajig he's working on. 
He's happy to hear that from someone that's a part of the coming generation. You owe it to yourself to protect the environment. You should look for things that are recyclable. It shouldn't take you too long to find some. He wonders what usefulness you found. He says every little thing counts. He can work wonders with almost anything and asks if you know how to upcycle. That's the spirit. You can't make a difference unless you get your hands dirty. He'd love to teach you to upcycle, and the scrap you found would be a good start. You did well, but he can't help but wonder why you decided to craft a weapon. He says you don't really need a weapon when you're born one. He understands, but hopes you won't be needing it anytime soon. He thinks mastering the six weapon styles of Wang Fu is more than enough for anyone. He's looking forward to seeing what you'll make next. It seems you have a talent for this. It looks like she's starting to lose her patience. You know she doesn't like waiting for you. She wants to see you on the village square right away. She suggests you better hurry up then. You won't get far with that attitude. She wants you to grow up and start thinking for yourself. You really need to find yourself before she's gone. She won't live forever, you know that. But she intends to make the most of every day she gets, especially the ones you share together. You've always followed your own path, but this time she needs you to follow her. Then start by meeting her on the village square and take it from there. She knows you're a free spirit, always on the move, like the wind. They look determined. Better watch out. He asks you to stop right there and wonders where you think you're going. That makes him wonder why you were here looking for it. 
There's no way they'll let you pass. He wants to know who you think you are. You'll have to face pain at some point. He offers to help you get it over with. She asks if you're hurt. What happened? If confidence is silent and insecurity is loud, she thinks you're absolutely right. The most important thing is that you're okay. It's time to focus on your training now. She said it before, Wang Fu will keep your body in good health, and that's how you keep your mind strong and clear. Someone close to heart, doing what he does best? Seeing you always puts a smile on your Popsy's face. He wants to know how you're feeling. He knows growing up is hard, and things will continue to go wrong as you become older and figure out how to make them right. He asks if you could help him, too, before you leave for training. He'll talk to her, sure, but you know she wants you to accept responsibility for your own actions and future. He suggests you get going and find him gadgets and ideas for how you can upcycle some old fabrics. He's curious to see what you found. He's all for renewal and has even considered making the trip out into the wilds to look for a bio-nucleus pool and refresh his DNA. He can work wonders with pretty much anything and asks if you know how to upcycle. Thinks some are and some aren't. One thing's for sure, though, your Mooma thinks it all takes up too much space in the house. He says it's about time you learned how and offers to teach you, starting with the scrap you found.
The style might be too edgy for his taste, but it looks sharp on you. He can see the rebel in you. You're like your moomer in that way. Always choosing your own path, even if it might lead you to peril. You should take it with you, wear it to practice. He agrees that you need to keep some things to yourself, but in general, you should know that sharing is caring. He's looking forward to seeing what you'll make next. It seems you have a talent for this. Your Mooma says it's about time you got here. Hopes you're as ready as you claim to be. She says she is eager to get started. You don't have much time left before the sun goes down. But there's enough time left for repetition and you need it. Training dummies don't hit back. Wants you to prove that with some practice first. Your Mooma says you did well today. She's so proud of you. Thanks you for being such a good student. Been working on a present for you, with the help of Gizmo and Wiz. You should go see him and find out what it is. You've deserved it. Says he's always thought so well of you, just like her. Catchy. Gala. Your Mooma says she's never seen an apparatus as green as this little thing. It's wonderful. Figuring that out is half the fun. A piece of Scraptronics like this has built-in old-world tech that makes it a potent communication device. It's called an automaton, and it's hardwired to your DNA. It'll follow wherever you go and see whatever you see. Says it's not a record keeper, more like a companion. Your Mooma says you look tired. No wonder. It's been a long day. Says a good rest makes you ready for tomorrow. Rest and you'll find strength for tomorrow. Nothing could stop Lupin Lupin from setting the world on fire. Your Mooma urges you to blaze a trail. A burnt kidling will learn to dread fire. That's just adding fuel to the flames. Give it a last burst and you'll make it. It's 
son, Nigel, there. Your Mooma says this is it. The time has come. She must fight Lupa Lupin. This time there's no escape. She can hear him coming. He wants to destroy her. The time to fight is coming, whether she's ready for it or not. Whatever happens, you need to know she loves you. And everything she's done has been to protect you, your Popsy, and those she was chosen to lead. She tells you to stay back. This is her fight. It has nothing to do with you. History has finally caught up with her. She had a life before you were born, you know. Darker and less fun. Here it comes. The past coming to haunt the present. Go through fire and water to make it out of here. Your Numa says you can make it if you believe in it. Where she goes, you go. Blood is thicker than water. You're in deep surf. Don't make waves. The surf goes where it wants to go. It'll take you to the shore as long as you go with the flow. Death is not to be feared by one who has lived life with a pure heart. A part of her will live on in you. The creature is hungry for more. Nothing is going to stand in its way now. If a sacrifice is made for someone else, it's not lost, but passed on to the next. Life must go on. Real sacrifice comes from love and necessity when all other options are exhausted. The ultimate test of conscience is the willingness to give up anything to save what you truly care about. What you do for yourself dies with you. What you do for your kin remains and makes you immortal in their memory. As the moment fades and is lost, the only thing that remains is loneliness. It doesn't mean you'll forget your past. It simply means you need to move on.